Hey guys, it's Allison, and today I wanted to talk about just some um, set photos that have been released for The 100 Season 5. Um, I just wanted to just kind of wait a little bit until we got more photos, so we got um, some more photos yesterday, so let's get started. Obviously, if I forget a picture, I'm sorry, um, brain fog is real. I will leave a link down in the description to see these videos. So basically, the first video um, that we have is we have a picture of just Bellamy. Bellamy is, he is alone in the picture. He does have a beer now. Um, I, the one of the things that I'm very excited about for season five is um, Bellamy's character. Hang on a second, I gotta hold up my dog in his toy. Hey, there you go. There you go, right there. Hey, 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 right here, right here. Hey, Oliver, right here. There you go. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, so we basically see um, Bellamy in the photo and his character. I'm excited to see what is in store for Bellamy and how he survived up on the Ark for six years. Um, obviously, I'm excited for the whole dynamic between the space crew, but I'm really interested, interested to see how Bellamy grows and how he adapts and how he um, basically is kind of like a whole new... I mean, pretty much everyone is a new person, but... Just to see like how he copes without Clark there. Because him and Clark are leaders. They are best friends. They care about each other a lot. And I'm just excited just to see Bellamy, how his character like develops this season. Um, next we have is the picture of Bellamy and Clark with, it looks like, Miller and a guy from the um, LGS ship. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but I think it's LGS ship. The prison ship that comes down at the end of season four. Um, Bellamy and Clark are talking, and it looks like they're talking to Miller and the guy from the LGS prison ship. It looks like maybe they're about to go on, like, a mission or, like, because they have backpacks on. Um, maybe they're about to go on a mission. Maybe they're trying to free people from, like, the bunker. That's another big storyline that, I don't know. I'm not very excited about the bunker itself. Um, I'm just kind of not, but I am interested to see how they're going to get people out. Here's my dog, Oliver. Hello. I am interested to see, oh, hi, sweetie. I am, like, interested to see, like, how they're going to get people out of the bunker. I guess that's what I'm also interested in, um, besides, you know, you know, Miller and Jasper and Kate and Abby. Um, I'm not really excited. Hang on a second. My dog lost his ball again. Uh, are you for reals? Uh, this dumb thing. <laughs> go play. Go play. It's right there. Um, I am very excited just to, um, see how they work out together and their dynamic, um, and whatnot and how that's going to happen. Personally, I am not a fan of Octavia at all. I really enjoyed her in season one, season two. And after season three, when she just started, well, this has happened as early as season two, but... After she brutally beat up her brother while he was chained to a rock, it was like, no, I'm done. Like, game over. It's never okay to abuse someone. It's never okay to um, just do that at all. And the fact that Jason and, well, I don't know if the writers agree with this because they have to have their job, obviously. But I feel like Jason just kind of plays that off as normal family dynamics. And that's not normal family <laughs> dynamics. Like, I grew up in a verbally abusive household, and I just assumed that that was normal, that everyone grew up like that. And then, you know, now that I'm 26, I, you know, went to counseling, and I realized, like, it wasn't okay what happened to me, you know, growing up, and that's not okay. So I really just cared less about Octavia. I wish she would just drop dead. I don't really care about her, like, at all. Um, yeah. So there is a picture of her, and she looks, like, really crazy, but that's what people, you know, things happen. Um, I'm also interested to, just to see, um, again, like how people up in the spaceship function, how they survive, why did it take six years for them to come down? We also get a shot of Clark in a village that maybe she and Maddie found. Um, I'm very excited for that dynamic between Clark and Maddie. I think that's going to be a great addition, um, for that. And I'm just really excited for that. I'm excited to see you know, how Clark and Maddie survived for six years. Um, you know, her reunion with Bellamy, you know, that's going to be obviously like really emotional. And I'm like not ready emotionally. Probably going to cry a lot with this big guy. Probably going to cry a lot. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, then the other photo that we got yesterday was the photo with Clark 
and Octavia is basically holding Bellamy's face and they're talking. Clark looks worried, Bellamy looks worried, Octavia just looks like dead inside, like she doesn't have a soul or anything. Um, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. I predict for that photo, we did get a, um, a like screen cap on the photo where it said this happens in 505. So I would assume that the Blark reunion is going to happen 502, 503. Blake reunion is going to happen around 505. They dig out the people in the bunker like 504. So that's going to be Octavia's first interaction with Bellamy after six years. Um, I really hope that Bellamy, you know, starts to stand up to his sister more and realize that the abuse that he's receiving is not okay and that he doesn't like he doesn't deserve that nobody deserves that and if you yourself grew up in an abusive household or you're dealing with an abusive person right now it's not okay what's happening to you and like please I know it's so hard to get help but I will also leave a link down in the description where you can text anonymously um and whatnot if you're you know if you're in an abusive si uh, situation um, so I am excited just, I am excited to see just what Bellamy's reaction to his sister is going to be. Um, I'm interested for that as well. I don't really know how that's going to go because, you know, the last thing they, they said was he's like, I love you. And which I don't really feel like he's earned at all because Octavia really hasn't done anything for Bellamy. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like Octavia just so many horrible acts, which I know everybody does, but then she's never held accountable for her actions. Like when somebody else, thank you, when somebody else, you know, makes the wrong decision, they obviously come to terms with that and they apologize and want to change from that bad decision that they made. And Octavia just never has any consequences and I'm so sick and tired of that. I really do feel like it is a consistent writer problem. I'm not saying the writer's in the room because again, they have to listen to what Jason says, the creator. But I just, I'm just over her. I don't care about her. Um, but I screamed when that photo of Bellamy Clark um, was uh, posted yesterday by Jason. I am just so excited just for them to interact again. And I can't, y'all. I'm a big Bullark shipper. You know, we've waited like five seasons. Well, this game is this going to be like the fifth season. Stidi happened on season six. So I'm hoping Bullark's going to happen this season. I'm really hoping for that. Um, I just feel like they have a great friendship. They care about one another. They make sacrifices for each other. They stand up for one another. They are each other's cheerleaders. You know, when like when they're feeling down, they um they lift they lift each other up, and that's what you want in a relationship. You want someone who's going to be there for you and care about you and sacrifice you know for you. Um, so I'm very excited for season five, you guys. I'm predicting we're probably going to get a trailer next month in January. That's what Jason tweeted out. He didn't tweet out a day. But, um, the, there's, like, a big, there's, I think it's, like, this press conference is happening, like, the week of January 9th for the CW shows. So, I'm assuming we'll probably get the release dates, um, released for the winter premieres for the CW shows. And then, um, the writers will release the trailer soon after that. The writers are basically just waiting on Mark Pedowitz, who's the president, to announce the air dates. And then they can release the trailer. So, thank you guys so much for watching with my sweet boy Oliver um let me know what your thoughts are about the pictures um again y'all like everyone has right to your own opinion so if you like Octavia like that's cool for you but I personally like do not like her at all um make sure to leave a like and subscribe down to this channel and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye guys